Hi guys, welcome to Explanator. In the earlier videos, we explained how a class D circuit works. If you haven't checked it out yet, link is in the description below. For today, we are going to plot the waveforms associated with class D commutation circuit. Before that, two assumptions have to be taken into consideration. One, the capacitor is initially charged and two, the load current is assumed to be constant. Let's get these waveforms plotted. We have seven plots to be drawn, all on the time axis. The first two are to indicate when thyristors T1 and Ta are fired. Next two are voltage and current of thyristor T1. After that, voltage and current of capacitor. And last is the load current. Coming to the circuit, the components are in the off state and as per the assumption, the capacitor is initially charged to voltage Vs. When the main thyristor T1 is switched on, current flows in the outer circuit consisting of load as well as the inner circuit which has components like inductor, diode and capacitor. Due to this current flow, the capacitor voltage gets nullified and it charges with reverse polarity. Let's plot this sequence. T1 is fired, so mark it on the IG1 axis. Since it is conducting, voltage drop across it will be zero. Coming to current in the circuit, there is always a load current in the circuit flowing in the outer loop. So the plot starts with current I0. When current flows in the inner loop, the magnitude will increase due to presence of series LC circuit and total magnitude becomes I0 plus IP. When the capacitor is completely charged, the current reduces back to I0. For plotting the capacitor voltage, the plot will start from Vs. Capacitor drains to zero and again charges to voltage minus Vs. When it has charged to minus Vs, it will hold on to that value. Coming to the capacitor current, current in the capacitor rises and is at its peak when the capacitor is fully charged. After that, due to inductor in the circuit, fall of current is slowed down and it takes a gradual fall. Since there is no flow of current, the value remains on to zero. In the earlier video, how it charges to Vs is also explained. Do check it if you missed out. The load current in the circuit remains unaffected during the whole process and so it is a constant line with magnitude I0. Coming to the circuit again, to turn off thyristor T1, turn on the auxiliary thyristor Ta. With this, current flows in the inner circuit Capacitor voltage appears across thyristor T1 and it switches off due to reverse bias. Capacitor gets discharged and then it recharges to voltage Vs. The load current is unaffected till now. When capacitor voltage equals battery voltage, current in the circuit dies to zero and thyristor Ta is turned off. The capacitor holds on to its voltage of Vs. Let's plot this sequence. At T equals T1, Ta is switched on, so plot it on IgA axis. Thyristor T1 gets reverse biased with voltage minus Vs. So Vt1 line goes below the x axis. As T1 turns off, current IT1 dies to zero and remains zero. The capacitor goes to zero from minus Vs and charges towards plus Vs. The growth of voltage is linear. If you observe when T1 turns off, it is in parallel across the capacitor. So voltage across T1 will have same pattern as that across the capacitor. The capacitor current is reversed in the direction. So current goes below the axis and it is a straight line till capacitor charges to Vs. Note the absence of sine wave pattern as there is no inductor in the loop. Once it charges to Vs, there is no current flowing in the circuit, so it remains on zero line. 
the load current falls to zero when T A is turned on to turn off T1. At T equals T1, T A is on and T1 is off. And at T equals T2, T A is off. That was an explanation about waveforms for class D thyristor commutation circuit. Give it a thumbs up and do share if you found this content helpful. Hit the subscribe button for more content and check the bell icon to never miss an update from explanator because every solution has a simple explanation.